You know, there's only one sin that's gonna send you to hell. And it's not all the things that we see on the nightly news that, you know, fornication, abortion, adultery, homosexuality, or somebody that's a drug addict, an alcoholic, wife beater, all those different things, though they are terrible. Those things aren't what sends you to hell. What sends you to hell is the sin of unbelief. Trusting in yourself, trusting in your own effort, believing that you are somehow righteous before God or that with the things that you're doing are just really not that bad. Instead of believing and trusting fully in the Lord Jesus Christ and what he has done for you. Now you can see I'm helping, helping my wife do a little work on the house today. And yes, I have my Bible when I go out to work. You should never go out anywhere unarmed. You know, I used to play all these uh, Zelda video games and there was a little guy in there in the front. He said, it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. So always have your Bible with you. But back to what I was saying, it's the sin of unbelief that sends us to hell. You know, in Hebrews 3.19, uh, the writer, he's, he's recounting uh, Israel's time in the wilderness. And see, they couldn't enter in, the children of Israel, they couldn't enter in to the rest that God has pre had prepared for them because of their unbelief. See, unbelief is not disbelief, like, wow, I just can't believe that's happening. But unbelief is I refuse to believe. In the face of overwhelming, insurmountable evidence, I refuse to believe the truth. And the truth is this, that we have all sinned and come short of the glory of God, that all of us are filthy and gone out of the way and that we have no righteousness of our own to stand before a holy and righteous God. And what is also true is that God made a way for you and I to be forgiven, for you and I to be redeemed, to be taken into the family of God. And that's by trusting in his son, his son's perfect sacrifice on our behalf, his blood that was shed, not our own works, not the best that we can do, but trusting in what he has done. And when we do that, we have went from unbelief to belief. So all those things that we mentioned earlier, all the sins that you can think of, and I know that there are many, you know, those are not the sins that send you to hell. It's the sin of your unbelief. So if you haven't done so today, trust in the Lord Jesus Christ and what he has done for you, and you can be saved and go from unbelief to belief.